So we've come to the end of our day fishing today on the river. Um, it has been hard. Um, you know, we all have these days. Uh, it came off the back of a really good session we had uh, two days ago, where literally everything we threw into the river was, was catching fish. Um, perch and pike, pike were on the feed, uh, lots of cranks we were using, different kind of profiles. They were working really well on there. Um, and then we had rain. Not a massive amount of rain, but enough that um, it's risen the river um, and there's a bit more colour in it. Uh, to be fair, we went out this morning on it and it was highest it's been for probably three or four weeks. Uh, the little holes and stuff that we would normally find fishing, just they weren't there. Um, but we did manage to scrape a few fish out, uh, basically just by chopping and changing. Uh, the cranks didn't seem to do anything today, they weren't interested. So we were pulling across into uh, the finesse shads and the slick shads, lots of different colours of these. Uh, fishing weedless, it went down to a seven gram um, in the end, uh, whereas beforehand we were flicking out 12, 15 gram uh, uh, rigs to, to, to catch them. Um, but we would literally have to strip it back. And funny enough, the fish that we caught today were, were some probably a foot off the bank. You know, they were not far out. They were in, as you'd imagine, but once we'd had one fish, that was it. There's like no more bites after it. So it has been really, really hard. But you know what? That's what fishing's about. Um, the thing is, just keep going um, and keep pushing forward, kind of looking, just changing, chopping, changing. It's always good to have uh, a couple of different rigs in your in your army, stuff you can go to. We found that the the far bank on the on the river was there was some slack, so we were changing back into a 10 gram to try and get out there into there, and then back over to a seven gram. And you know we have winkled a couple of fish out. So with rivers uh, like this, where the, the water can really come into it and the depths can be vary really from three, four foot to 20 foot in places, um, I tend to use bigger, bigger rods, big, bigger reels, just slightly bigger size, slightly heavier braid and heavier fluoro, just to be able to punch it out there really. Plus the fact you don't really know what you can hook into. You could be hooking into small perch or you could be hitting into 20, 20 pound plus pike. You know, there's, there's a lot of fish in here you know you've just got to find them and you've got to have a setup which is capable of being able to get them into the bank uh, this has been my, my go-to which is the jigger finesse terminator rod by fox rage it's the 240 centimeter it's a 7 to 28 gram um, today as you can see it's paired with the two and a half thousand prism uh, reel and we've got a seven gram cheb with a little weedless on there um, which you know you'd look at this and think that's a bit light but actually I felt that today, bounce down. It's a really sensitive, forgiving tip, this, and bouncing something like that long, I can feel that on the bottom as a kind of 10 or 15 gram uh, weight that I'm pushing on the other side. So, so something like this, which is versatile, uh, allows you to be able to chop and change as you see fit, as the conditions change, um, really is something that you should, should be considering really taking out. And you can take different rods. I mean, you know, I do take heavier rods or I might take lighter rods out but actually if I'm just going to go out and I want to do some exploring I might not want to carry loads and loads of equipment so a rod which is nice and versatile which can take weights and like 7 gram up to 28 gram is, is, a, is my go-to choice really on some lightly river. So what I would say is um, it's really, you know, you just need to persevere. You know, you, you're not going to catch fish at home. So get out there, um, push through them, because the bad days, you know, you'll have, but there'll be some brilliant days as well. And days where it's been sunny and bright and you think you're not going to catch anything, actually, you can have one of those bonus days where you catch the fish that you've always wanted to. Um, we're always learning from fishing. So, you know, today, even though it's been rock solid, um, I've taken something from it. I've spoken to some of the match guys who are fishing this as well and they were telling me, you know, it's been hard for them and look, maybe they're near the side of the bank and we've just been chatting, talked to other people, talked to other anglers, 
find out what's working, what's not working, and uh, hopefully you can put this into your own kind of fishing.